In a previous video, we looked at how to get the return uh, value from a thread, which you can check up top if you haven't already. Um, in there, we looked at, in there, we passed in a reference to a pointer in our main function that was actually assigned to the return value of our uh, thread function. So if we were to run this, we would get a random number from one to six that would be generated by the thread itself. And in this video, I want to take a look at a different way you can return uh, out of a thread instead of actually calling return. So here, instead of calling return, what one can do is call pthread exit. And this is not at all mandatory. It is just another way of doing it. So pthread exit here, pthread exit, as you can see, it takes in actually just a uh, void pointer as its parameter, which is the same as the return type from uh, our function here. So you can, instead of calling return, you can call pthread exit. And if we run this again, we should get the exact same result, which we do in this case. Well, we get a different uh, random number, but that's uh, besides the point. Um, so this is fine. You can use pthread exit, you can use return, whichever you prefer. Now, uh, a really nice thing about pthread exit is when you try to use it in the main function. So in the main function, you might want sometimes to let uh, the threads run, but want to terminate the main function altogether. So no longer does it join the threads, it simply terminates. But let's change a bit the resulting function so that it prints out the results. It says printf uh, thread result percent %d, percent %d backslash n, and here we can say the value. Okay, and now if we if we try to run this, that's fine. We're gonna also get the result printed on the screen from the thread itself, not just from here. But what happens if I return zero in here? So this is after the thread has been created, uh, but before it has been joined. Well, if we try to run this now, you will notice that you don't get any message on the screen, even though we have printed here on the screen something. That is because you have to see it as that. A process owns multiple threads, okay? And because it does that, um, if we return zero from the main uh, thread, we return zero from the main process, which in turn terminates, and that terminates all the threads it has. So because of that, using return zero here is no good. And same thing with exit. So exit is basically the same as calling return zero in the main function, but um, you can call it anywhere. So here, even if we use exit, if you launch this, you're gonna have an issue where nothing is gonna be printed on the screen and the thread doesn't get to execute at all. But if we want, if we really want the thread to actually execute and show us a result, what we could do is instead of exit, we can call pthread exit in the main thread here. If we call pthread exit in the main uh, thread, the, the thread won't execute any of the code below, that's for sure, but it's not gonna terminate the process. It's gonna wait for all the other threads, or at least it's gonna uh, try to finish the execution of all the other threads. If we launch this, you will notice that we get a thread result here. And that is what you would expect. The only problem right now is that we're not calling free here. So this result that's being malloced is, um, is a memory leak and it's an issue, but that's, uh, that's something that's easily uh, solvable. So pthread exit is really nice when you want to start some threads in the main thread and you want to leave them running while main simply just exits. Right, so think that they are very, very long running and it, it doesn't matter if you actually uh, pthread join them or not at that point. So you might as well just um, free some resources and let those threads run. And they're gonna run until they finish their execution. Even if it takes, let's say, if I say here, sleep of two, even if it takes two, two seconds, you know, if I launch this, 
it is going to wait two seconds before it's going to print something on the screen and finish the process itself. So the process is going to wait for all the other threads to finish. In here, right, without this p-thread exit, every single time we were waiting from the main thread so that all the other threads were finished before the main thread finished their execution. But in this case, you can actually let the process handle it and uh, this is how you'd do it using p-thread exit. Now I covered p-thread exit because there were a few confusions as to whether or not you have to call it. You don't have in any way to call it anywhere. You can simply return instead of calling p-thread exit inside the uh, thread functions. But just so you know, p-thread exit inside the main thread does not kill the process. Only exit does. And uh, that would let all your threads running. That's basically all the difference there is. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. If you do have any questions, leave them down in the comments below or on our Discord server. The source code for this, of course, is gonna be found on our website, link in the description below. Take care.